Hi guys, David Texas here, and I've got the nuts in <laughs> for the repair work. See this? I've got the uh, little bone nut in from uh, GFS with the pre cuts in it, and of course, these pre cuts are just for location only because they will not fit any gauge string that I'm aware of. Um, maybe a, only 12 gauge, 12, 12 string octave strings maybe fit those, but. Anyways, for the location only, and then you have to widen them out, and um, basically don't go any deeper, you know, because you don't want these to swallow up the string again. Now, the problem with this one is that uh, it's too thick. Normally, these things fit very well. If you look, here's one I just took off there, one I screwed up and chipped all the pieces. See all the chips in it? Is that crumble on me? It's a very good bone nut I got. Uh, I just ruined it. And it's probably because it's so aged, it had been in that box for so long. When I tried to file it, just chips and pieces of it just flaked off the thing. It was terrible to <laughs> watch it. Now, the thing to do, if these are too wide, is obviously you have to file this thing down, right? So what I like to do and what's easiest for me to do is simply put it on a flat surface, you know, a nice flat surface, you're not worried about, you know, screwing up, <laughs> and get you a nice long flat file. See this? These come in kits, you can get like six different shaped blades that uh, you can get that will work on these bone nuts. And it's not expensive, you're like $10 for a set of these. And basically, what you're going to do is hold the uh, uh, file in this manner, right? And lay it across the, the uh, nut, right? A little pressure on that file, give it a little bend, hold the one part with your finger, and just file up and down in the same direction as the length of the nut. As you can see, that bone is just coming off there, right? See how this comes off there? Look at that. Now, the trick to this is, obviously not to take off too much, so you're constantly measuring this thing by placing it into the slot of the fender to see if it's going to fit. And you don't want to force it. If you have to really force it, it's not going to work. This should go in there not just drop in there, but it should go in there with just a little bit of pressure just push it in. Alright? Then a couple of drops of the glue, whatever kind of glue you want to use, and you're done. You follow me? Now, you don't want to develop any ridges in this, and you want to continue to clean your file. Okay? Now, naturally, some of this bone has deep ridges in the structure of it. So you start filing, all of a sudden there's a dip in the bone itself. Well, that's obviously one spot you want to file down to make sure this thing fits. And at the moment, it doesn't come close to fitting. See all that gook on there? Rub it on your jeans, rub it on your hand, get it off the file so it's not choking on the uh, dust as you're filing and create more problems for you. Again, put a little pressure on it. See how I'm bowing that file? Just a little bit. I'm keeping it flat to the surface of the nut. I'm not using an edge. That's not what you want to do. You don't. You don't want to get this wet. Some people say, oh, wet file will be quicker. And it also stands chance of chipping it. And you don't want to file it across the grain, back and forth, right, like across. Just file with the length of it. So you've taken it up off, so with a little bit of pressure, it pops right into the slot to replace the broken one. Now this may take a good 30-40 minutes of filing 
right? You get things in the right shape. You get me? Because you don't want to take off too much either. So you're you're filing, you're filing, you're filing. You're cleaning it off. It's about blowing it off and rubbing it off. Don't use water. And definitely don't go up on the edges of this thing like this and take those off. You want to keep those edges. Then you'll dry fit it. Right? Lift up the strings, put it in there, see if it slipped down with just a little bit of pressure, and once it does, take it back out again, put a couple of drops of glue in there, whatever kind of glue you want to use. I use Gorilla Glue, because once it's broken, it's broken. It doesn't make any difference in what it takes to get it out. I just don't want this thing moving. Now, I used a, a, a different type of glue before, and it degraded, and actually with the polish, and uh, came loose and broke. So, a couple of drops of Gorilla Glue for me, and this thing will be in there and finished. Right? And I'll show you the final result once I get it filed down and uh, ready to place it in the guitar. So, if you any questions about this, give me a holler. David Tex had a good one. This is working on a nut for a uh, uh, Chili Caster Bender. Bye.